Fancy pasta and salmon. 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 Salmon or salmon? Salmon? I was upstairs and Mama B said, I'm making something special. Get the camera. I think everyone wants to see this. <laughs> Hi guys. Wow. So what are you making today, Mama B? I am making salmon two ways with a um, dry rub and then with like a sort of sweet sauce mm -hmm. and pasta a la carbonara. Oh, pasta a la carbonara. Which is really fancy name for pasta with egg and cheese. Ah, pasta with egg and cheese. And what's a dry rub? You'll see. Oh. I put my hair up in the air sometimes. Ain't nobody want food, uh, hair in their food. No, nobody wants no food in their hair. You can eat off the floor. Can you? My kitchen is so clean, you, you can eat off the floor. Socks. Yes. Socks check. Washing your hands. Mama's are washing your hands. Is this like an Italian meal that you're cooking? Pasta la carbonara is Italian, yes. It's pretty Italian. Very Italian. Pasta la carbonara. Mm -hmm. Pasta la carbonara. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna salt my water for the pasta. Okay. I'm going to cut up the beautiful piece of salmon. That, that is I a have. good looking piece of salmon. That's beautiful. That has potential written all over it. This is brain food right there. But omega? Was it omega 3s or yeah. omega fatty acids? We everyone, we should just Google it and figure out why salmon is good for you. Now that okay. is a big piece of salmon. So I am going to cut that. I'm gonna make portions. Portion. Portion. Does it matter how big the portions? <laughs> what kind of a question is that? Well, yeah, because if you say portions, like you just like you make can giant... cut however way you want. So I like I it mean... when I ask questions and then the teacher just laughs at me. It kind of reminds me of when I went to school. Now I bring on my pen, my parchment. So this sheet so... here is parchment paper. Yeah. You can. When I make cookies, I use parchment paper so yeah. it doesn't stick. And then you don't have to clean this tray. It's already clean. Oh yeah, it's so much easier. When I cook, I like to cook for like two days. What kind of music do you want to this video, Mama B? Do you want like an Italian music? Of course. You want like a be Italiano. Okay, good, because I picked a nice Italiano music. It's been playing since the beginning of the video. Really? Yes. Forward thinking, my friends. At this point, if you just slice up the salmon and put it in the oven, I think I'd be able to do salmon. No, ew. Ew. Is that called clean eating? You just like grab a salmon and you stick it in the oven and then you <laughs> eat it? It's boring eating. Just a little bit. Not too much. Okay, so you're sprinkling salt. Just a little bit. Yeah. Not too much. No, not too much. You know me, I don't cook with a lot of salt. No. Is that sea salt? This is sea salt. I love sea, sea salt. salt. I'm gonna do five with a dry rub and four with a saucy mix. Oh. So the dry rub, I have this seafood rub. Seafood rub. You just go to the grocery store and get some seafood rub. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me smell it. <laughs> it's very strong. But it's not strong when you put it on your fish. Mm -hmm. Look at that salmon. Food Network ain't got nothing on us, baby. This is the easiest thing you can possibly make. So... With your salmon, right? Wow. So, we got five like that. And then now you have four left that you're gonna do something special with. You're gonna do a pasta jingababoli on the jingabalomla. I don't know any Italian. I know some Italian. Um, buongiorno. Hmm? Where are you um, uh, sauce? A little bit of soy sauce. A little bit of soy sauce. A little oh. bit of honey. Honey. All right. Soy sauce and honey. Condiments for days. Do, 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 do. Sriracha, maple syrup. Is this champagne? You already put the honey and the soya and you're gonna put some garlic and ginger in there. Yeah. All right. There we go. And you don't really measure, you just like. Yeah, I don't measure, guys. Sorry. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. Okay, and now I'm gonna come over to the fish. Oh. And I'm going to. Can I smell that after? Because Mr. Monkey doesn't like this one, he likes the dry rub Mr. One. Monkey likes the dry rub, and Miss Monkey likes these ones? Yes. I bought you an apron for Valentine's Day. Where is it, Mama <laughs> B? I don't know what I did Wasn't it? Me. Wasn't it the most special? I think special? I threw it out the window. See, I can't buy Mama B anything nice. Okay, show the fish, show oh, the yes. fish. Make sure you get all the little pieces of ginger and garlic and put oh. it on top of there, because okay. that's going to give it amazing flavor. Oh. And that's it, you're finished. Honey, soy sauce, ginger, and garlic. And we got the dry rub with that special dry rub sauce with a little bit of salt. That smells really nice. 
Oh yeah. I cook my salmon at a high temperature for a short period of time. Mm -hmm. And I'll show you the trick of how you know salmon is cooked. Because you There's don't want to overcook salmon because ugh, dry salmon is gross, man. Okay. So you want to like just barely cooked. Just barely well, cooked like, the salmon. Like cooked, but just a tiny bit undercooked. Do you know what I'm saying? That's why he doesn't cook. No, it's not why I don't All cook. All right, my water is I just boiling. don't know how to... It. Oh! Mario! Oh, Mario! She's, she's getting very aggressive. This is the boiling this, water. This is my boiling water. I can do the boiling water. Spaghetti. Do you throw the pasta against the wall to figure out if it's ready or not? No, I don't do that. I take a pasta and I put it in my mouth and I try it. <laughs> oh. That's gonna go down and I'm gonna stir it so it doesn't stick to the bottom. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna cook while I'm getting my carbonara ready. Carbonara? Carbonara? What are you watching? Roman Atwood pranks. He Roman. filled up the whole house with balls and now Brittany's gonna come home and like faint. Can you say carbonara? 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 No. Oh. She's too busy watching Roman Atwood. Mr. Monkey, can you say carbonara? Yay! We'll let you know when the food's ready. <laughs> she opened it and all the balls came up. Never prank me like that, Miss Monkey. Mama B? No. Where do you go? I go sit down and I eat whatever Where you cook. Oh. I will never buy you an apron again. Oh. Andiamo. One. Would you? <laughs> One onion. Capisce? Uh, yes. Okay. Do you crack when you chop the onions? I don't, I don't remember. What? What do you think I am, a newbie? When did you stop crying when you cut onions? When I was like five. When I was helping my mother in the kitchen. You know what I was doing when I was five? Picking your nose. I was picking my nose watching you're, Sesame Street. You were picking your nose, I was making dinner for nine. <laughs> That's a nice pan. It is a nice. I got new pans for myself. Yeah, that's a nice. I get so excited for kitchenware and stuff. Mm -hmm. I love it. Beautiful. Stir your pasta. Don't forget to stir your pasta. Make sure it's not sticking. So always stir your pasta. Done. Okay, my oven is still heating up. So now, technically, you are supposed to put bacon okay. in a carbonara. I don't have bacon. Okay. And I have no intention of running to the grocery store. So, okay. I have a package of Capicolo. Capicolo. You can also use pancetta because anything that has like a nice fattiness to it, mm -hmm. that'll leave the nice crisps in the pan. Oh yeah, baby. <sighs> Capicolo. Wow, is that oh. like a salami? Yeah, it's kind of like a salami. Here, try. I thought, you try. I thought Capicolo was a bad word in Italian. <laughs> hey, stop being such a Capicolo. Oh, that's good. You're supposed to put half a package of bacon, so I'm gonna do like that. That's got a nice marble tinge to exactly. it. Exactly, so the fattiness is going to be very nice in the pan. This is gonna smell amazing. Keep moving, keep moving. Oh, oh stick and move, keep stick and move, stick and move. The capicolo is now warming up in the pan and Mama Bee's putting up some onions. What are you, new? Just beautiful. Listen. Not bad. Listen to this. Right? The fattiness is good. Is very good. I'm gonna let that hang out a little bit. Okay. Now, oven's ready for the salmon. Done. And how long did you have the pasta boiling so far? Maybe seven minutes. And it smells amazing. Gotta make that face. No waste bring time. Bring the smells. Four eggs. Okay. Okay, what are we gonna do here? Well. You crack the eggs. Drop okay. everything inside. I, I knew that was coming. Right, okay. Do you want me to stir it while you're making something? Please, please don't touch anything. Oh. I can set the table. I'll yeah, set okay. the table, I'll do my part. We all do our part. I may not cook, but I will set the table, yes. I will make the monkey's bed. And you wash all the dishes after. And I wash all the dishes after. Yeah. Now I'm gonna put the onions in there. I didn't add any oil because the fat from the meat is there. So wow. that's gonna cook with the onions and it's gonna give it a nice flavor. Medley with the onions. It smells so good. Lascialo stare. As the Italians would say, leave it alone, no touch. No touchy. Lascialo star. You touch it, you break it. You reduce the heat. Well, yeah, I don't want to burn the onions. The I've... pasta's good. Eggs. 
Mama Bee's got the eggs. Okay, four eggs. Eggs. Be the eggs. Beat your eggs. I could be your assistant one day, Mama Bee. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. No worries. Parmesan nice. Parmesan cheese. That is some nice Parmesan. Hey, hey. Mama Bee's all over the place in here. My kids, do you smell that? The onions are browning now. But just a light browning. To this, you're supposed to add six to eight teaspoons, I think. Six I to think. eight teaspoons? So I don't do like measurements. So oh. I'm gonna go like this. Oh. Okay. Parmesan. Yeah. In the eggs. In the eggs. It's so easy, and you serve this to people, and they're gonna be like, wow. And you go to a restaurant, you pay $30 for this, for a plate wow. of, of beautiful salmon and pasta carbonara, which just means pasta with egg. So if you go to a fancy Italian restaurant and you order pasta carbonara, they're gonna charge you $34 a plate. Seriously, man. And here, it only costs $1.75. So this is like fancy pasta and salmon. Yes. <laughs> right? Well, that's what we're gonna call the video. Fancy pasta and salmon. 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 Salmon or salmon? Salmon? You want to impress your friends? You do this. You bring you bring them over and you feed them this, and they're gonna be like, "See, this is how I test." Did you this see how I test. what we ate at their house? It was amazing. Now, mommy's gonna throw it up against the wall. How is it? Pasta perfect. I like my pasta al dente. And it is al dente. I that means dente. that your teeth can. I don't know what al dente means. Not mushy. Firm pasta, not mushy. I'm gonna drain that. Who's that? You in my way. This little pasta intermission is brought to you by any haircut place because we need a haircut. Mm. Pasta carbonara! Nope. You can't say that? Can you see? Can you see this? So you see how beautiful that is? Looks amazing. Okay. That is a nice color. That's finished. Get your pasta. Oh, okay. We got the pasta that's being drained. Yeah, I'm coming over there. Add. Oh, and she's putting it right in. Oh my. Add it to that. You're going to stir this first. I'm going to bring the heat back up a little bit. Portare alla pasta. Portare alla pasta. So you are going to stir and the heat is going to cook the eggs onto the pasta. So how long does this meal normally take? Half an hour? Half an hour? Half an hour. 40 minutes? So you gotta make sure you flip it so you don't so burn the pasta. That's right. If it's one thing that culinary school has taught me, make sure you tw you um you spin the pasta. You spin me right, right round, round, baby, right round like a pasta. So a little bit of pepper. You can add salt. I don't because the parmesan is very salty already. This pasta is finished. That pasta is done. Look at that. Finito. That is a nice looking pasta. Right? Wow. That's the capicolo pasta. And the... Carbonara. Carbonara. Pasta carbonara. Ti amo. <laughs> ti amo. Ti amo. I remember that song. Amo. But you have to have that rough voice. Ti amo. Ti amo. Ti amo. Oh, you know it too. Oh, I know that. But I, that's the only. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that baby voice. <laughs> I sound like one of the Muppets. You want to see this salmon? Yeah, You see down here this white stuff coming out? Yes. I see that white stuff. Okay. But salmon. that white stuff means that it's almost finished. <laughs> it's not salmon milk. Okay. So. Do you know what I'm gonna do now? Wait. You're gonna turn I up do the heat. For most of my dishes is I'm gonna put the broil on. Put now. it on broil, baby. And I'm gonna just crisp up the top. Do not leave this area when you have broil on. Okay. Stay here. So if you broil, stay here. Do not leave. Because as soon as you walk away and you forget that you have something in broil, mm -hmm. it will burn. Yeah. Broil. Which I have done many times. Yeah. Anybody can be calling me. What if someone's at the door? No. What if a, a kid on a bike runs into your door? What? Why would they do that? You just learn how to ride a bike. We're gonna plate the pasta carbonara with the carbicol. Oh. oh. In the culinary world, this is called plating. In our world, it's called getting ready for an Instagram picture. <laughs> Take a food selfie before it gets cold and throw it on your Instagram to see how many likes it gets. There you go. Wow. The fancy pasta and salmon Dinner by Mama Bee. 
beautiful, beautiful. Easy, easy, fancy, fancy looking, healthy. healthy. The, sum, the salmon's very healthy. The egg, eggs, amazing, super and amazing. Beautiful meal to serve your family, your guests, your friends, your neighbors, your coworkers, your everybody. Your BFFs, BFFs, your homies, there your you squad. Go. Thanks for Tutti watching. Mangiare. Tutti a mangiare. Get your capicolos up here. Yeah, yo. Uh -huh. Yeah, y'all.